Hi, for this video, I'd like to show you the fifth etude. The fifth etude is the sixth exercise in the series of eight exercises that I use prior to scales for all my beginners. Now, hopefully you've already done the other five. Yeah, <laughs> five exercises, starting with peanut butter, stepping and skipping, M and W, the thirds, the fourths, and now the fifths. The fifth etude is the same as the thirds and the fourths as far as the pattern goes, so it shouldn't be too difficult for you. But there's only one fingering for it. Let me show you. The fifth etude. On the fifth etude, you do the same thing you did on the thirds and the fourths. The pattern's the same. The third etude was this, the fourths, and now you're going to have a fifth from C up to G is a fifth. And the only finger I'm going to use on this one is a number one on C, number five on G, so number one and five in both hands. Here's the pattern. Right hand's going to start out rocking. The left hand's going to be blocking. And both hands together like this. So you should find this pretty easy if you've already done the thirds and the fourths etude. Let's put the metronome on and do the whole exercise. Ready? I, I like this one, by the way, because using number one and number five is a good way to work on your, uh, your piano technique, your hand position. If you can play with a tall thumb and a tall pinky rather than a flat thumb and a flat pinky, the, the pinky and the thumb want to play flat like this, but if you make them play tall, it helps keep your hand in a good position. Just make sure you keep your arms loose when you do this and let the right hand rock. Ready? Switch to the left hand rocking.
that was the fifth etude along with all the other stuff. Mm -hmm.